Hello everybody, I've got a new box in today. I'm not sure what it is. It's a, it just uh, came in for repair. So let's open it up and see what we got. So it's a Donkey Kong board, two stack, it's missing chips, does not do anything. All right, well, it's, it's packed very well. This is how you like to see a board come in, you know, nice and bubble wrapped. All right, you did a really good job. Okay, so we're missing some things it looks like. Alright, we don't have any ribbon cables. Um, oh, we do. We have ribbon cables here. I'm going to use one of those. I don't know why it said no chips. Well, there. Hmm. Okay, let's. So we got a Donkey Kong. Looks like everything. Oh, we're missing one EEPROM, a 2716. Not a big deal. Um, how that'll show up is one half of every sprite will be missing half of the colors. <laughs> so it'll be like a box around half of a half of the motion sprites. So, all right, so not a big deal. Let's find, we need a rainbow cable and a, a JAMA adapter. All right, here's my ribbon, ribbon cable. I use the same rainbow cable all the time. Let me just keep it on the, on the shelf. Looks like I'll probably replace this if it needs it. I'll give him a call. And I'm gonna leave it leave that out right now. We'll just see what we get. These actually look in pretty good shape. The two uh, pots. So all the chips are plugged in. The back of the board looks good. CPU's in right, 8035. Everything looks like it's in the right spot. There we go. Some solder blobs. Alright. So it all looks good. Turn on the monitor. So with power, we've got nothing on the screen. We don't have anything on the screen. That means, well, I don't know what that means yet. Let's take a look. We'll grab my... Trusty Logic Probe. Are we getting anything down here? We have no clock at all. Ah, somebody's taken this right off the board. All right, so it appears, let's see. Let's take all this off. Right here. Coil's missing. 
yeah, you're going to get nothing with the missing coil. So the clock's generated up here, and then it's divided through the ZCL logic, and then it comes down and it's spit up by this 1025 in three three phases at eight megahertz. I think it's eight or twelve. Anyway, looks like I've got to find a part there and uh, to maybe steal it off an old board, another board that's in pieces. All right, I'll be back in a, in a few. All right, so we're back. We've got uh, we've got this Donkey Kong on the board. It turns out that the coil's missing. Um, what I've done so far is I started to clean the. It's it's almost like a, a a white hot glue that they use to to dab it on there, and then there's four solder points. Half the coil is well, you can see. Let's see. There's a little squiggly symbol on this side and a squiggly symbol on that side, so it's half the coil's there and half the coil go. You know, this is the inputs and the outputs. The inputs is from the transistors and this little crystal and circle. And it's I. Th I think there's more windings on this side and less on this side. I don't know why, but whatever it is, it's so it'll spit out a certain frequency and then it feeds the ECL chips and that's what generates the clock. It comes through the, the 116. These are all um, ECL parts, so it's a 10116 to a 11136, 10136 to a 1. 0105 to a 101, uh, 10125, which translates it back to TTL and then it spits it out to this uh, 04 and uh, and then it disperses through the whole through the whole board set. So anyway, I'm cleaning that up. I have this board here has uh, the whole section has been robbed out of here over the years. This is a parts board. It never, we didn't quite get it to work, so we started borrowing parts from it. And so it just happened that uh, choke or coil, it's a coil, I think. And then I'm going to move that and put it on the other board. So first, I need to clean the, clean the pins here and just remove remove all the broken off pins. So it looks like. Yeah. I don't know if someone cut this off for the same reason I'm doing it or what, but I think that's it. All right, those holes are all cleaned. Yeah. And then I'll I'll set this up here for a minute. Put this one in and See if I can actually remove this guy. I should probably document it, maybe try to build one. It looks like it's just a straight wire around wrapped around a ferrite coil, which is what coils are. Let's see. I'm not too worried about this board, but I am about the component, so let's see if we can lift this goo. That's off there. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit there and maybe you can see what I'm doing. Move this board out of the way. And we'll yeah, that's not really helping, is it? This wire is loose. 
Yeah, that one's unsoldered. Hmm. I'm going to zoom back out. This is too, probably too difficult to actually watch what I'm doing. All right. Okay, so I've got this, this back half I have off. It's the sticky stuff. I've got one, one leg over here, that, that one, one wire. It's soldered, desoldered from the back, but not from the front, so I'm going to have to... Okay, let's see if we can get that off. Come on. There we go. All right, the patient has survived, I think. Let's find out. Okay. This gooey stuff is kind of interesting. Let's see if we can put this back in. You know, we really have no idea if this is the only problem. Like it could be, could be they took this out and used it as a parts board themselves because they they just didn't. <laughs> All right, I got this in my hand the same way it came off. Boy, this is going to be interesting to try to try to put it all back together here. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> okay, where's all my legs? One, two, three. Ah, here's the fourth one. can't see it so there's one. Oh, I see So what I'm going to do, alright, I think I'm going to try tapping it from the top so I don't have to turn it over. And then I can actually solder it on. I'm just going to try to get in here and tack this piece. Ooh, come on, Mike. Alright, that leg is in. What is going on here? There's a piece of the wire from the old coil is still there.
This is awful thin wire here. sure why they hot glued these I guess just to keep it in place um, interesting story well maybe not so interesting but uh, it's the first time I've ever had to replace one of these I was accused of it before which is kind of funny uh, back when I had sold a board to a, a customer, and um, that board ended up getting sold to or used by a guy to set a world record. And uh, the guy's name was Steve Weeby, and they really tried everything in the world to invalidate this guy's score. I felt really bad for him. They um, <clears throat> they made me. Uh, they actually had me verify the ROMs that they were all correct and all this garbage. Little did I know they were they were making a movie about all of this. And um, so Steve's board ended up getting used. Well, the board I sold him was, was I think the one they end, he ended up using to set set a video world record. And then um, I got a call from whoever was a technician at the time. Some wolf something or other was the guy's name. And they um, they were complaining because <coughs> there was this sticky substance on the coil, which, which is on every coil. All of these have this sticky stuff. And it was to hold it in place, probably, so they could solder it together on the board. And, uh... It just showed a total lack of understanding between... Technically how they work, you know, the board and everything else. What, what they technically do. And then gamers, you know, gamers call things, you know, chips and... Oh, he put a chip on there, you know, or he changed the timing by by playing with the coil or whatever. And, you know, it's like, well, you guys just need to look at the behavior of the board. Some boards have faults. Some don't. And uh, anyway, I, I think they disqualified that score. And then they ended up making King of Kong as a big battle between the two. Two Donkey Kong champ, world champions at the time, and uh, it was kind of interesting. But anyway, it had to do with this glue that we're working on today. I'm not going to do anything with that. It seems pretty snug, pretty tight. It's not touching anything. It's on there real, real um, sturdy. So I'm going to turn this back over, put it back together, and see if we have a clock now. Let's see. Whoops. Well, we got one and two and three of these are kind of kind of bent. I'll replace this ten pin header <coughs> before before I send it back. All right. So that's all in. Let's put the knives away. We don't need them anymore. And they go up here. And, oh, I got power on there. All right. Let's pop that on. And I'll watch the board for smoke. You guys watch to see if there's a picture.
thin that up just a hair. There we go. Hopefully we get a picture. All right. Not only do we have a picture, we have a game. Wow. All right, this is either, well, we got sprite problems and color issues, which are character ROMs. On the back side, there's two character ROMs at 3N and 3P, both 2716s. And if they're blank or missing, you'll get that. So it looks like uh, the one at 3P is okay. 3N, oh, wow. Just like we had with the last ones. Look at the legs on this. Bad legs. Whoops. That's the, the ROM at 3P, or 3N. So that's why we don't have any... Um, <laughs> That's funny. That's why we have those stripes. And then we have really weird stuff going on. We have those stripes going through each one of these ROMs. I bet. I'm going to remove all of these character ROMs. And we'll see what happens. We should just get solid squares. If it's not, then we have something else going on here. Look at that. Solid squares. So... This is almost like the Donkey Kong 3 that we, we, we repaired last. All of the Brahms are bad on, the, on this video board. Wow. But we got a video board. Let's see. If, can we actually point it up? Yeah. Can we... Pull? We got a missing pound sound. So our game board, whoops, I'm on the video side, we've got, we need four new EEPROMs here, these are all bad, I mean, rusted, bent legs, just no program in them, so this has been, it's been out in the weather I think, so I'm going to program these four and this one. They're all 2716s. And um, we'll come back and see what we get. Alright. Alright, we are back. We've got uh, character EEPROM burned and all of the sprite ROMs. So, let's see what we got now. Flip her over. <coughs> Should be interesting. Let's pop up here. And see if we can get everything in there. All right. Well, it looks like we have game. I'm going to put that up just a little higher. There we go. Look at that. Hmm. All right, we have a little problem. Sprites. You see the blue, the lines on the top. So one of these EEPROMs is not making good contact. Is it this one? Nope. I think that one's okay. Let's check if it's number one. Yeah, so I think it's that first EEPROM. I'm going to burn another one and verify the one that's there for 7C. I had a heck of a time. I've got a tube of these AM, <clears throat> excuse me, Atmel. 
Here we go. These are, I can't really read them, but they are, uh, they're electronically erasable and programmable um, 28C16s. And they work great if, but I had a whole tube that was just bad. So let's see here. Yeah, that one's still not any better. So I've been having fun trying to find one that actually will program. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to load that 7C, <clears throat> and we're going to program. Found one that programmed. All right, there we go. Excuse me, so that's all looking good. Let's start again. <laughs> so it looks like we've got all our sounds <clears throat> everything's playing right we were just missing this uh, we were missing you know we had bad EEPROMs rusted out EEPROMs we had someone had taken the uh, the coil right off the off the video board and let's see that looks like all we had missing so we had the coil missing we didn't have to do anything else coil EEPROMs what else did we do here let's see I think that was it Wow, that's a great fix. Very simple. Well, it wasn't so simple. Thank goodness we had a spare board that actually had one of those coils on it. <laughs> and it was a parts board at that. So, all right, all I need to do now is we'll give it a bath, clean it up, put it back together, and then um, it's ready to go back. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, my name is Mike from Mike's Arcade, and uh, if you if you like this video, please subscribe or at least uh, you know give it a thumbs up, and I'll continue to make them. Uh, it was it's kind of fun when you just don't know what's going to happen and you put it on video. You know, you have no clue if it's going to be something you can actually fix or or you can't fix or not going to be able to to finish, but I guess that's why you can always uh, set it aside and come back to it later. You guys have a great day and thanks again. Bye.